I'm pleased with how the promotion has been going, the card that he put together. Um, everything, everything has been good so far. What more could they possibly get? What's up, fight fans? Welcome to my channel. This is Johnny. And in today's video, I'm going to do a breakdown of a Terrence Crawford interview that he gave a few days ago. This one, I just took highlights, and you're going to hear Bud talk about how his relationship began with Turkey al -Ashik. I think that's pretty significant, considering if we remember and look back at Bud's career, even before the EJ fight, a lot of people didn't support him. And so you're going to hear what it means to have a guy like al -Ashik come in literally out of nowhere and give him some support. He's going to talk about that promo video. If you guys are Bud fans... I'm sure you've seen that video. He's going to talk about what it was like filming with Majumov. Tell a story of actually going to Uzbekistan years ago and how the Uzbek people treated him and how he heard of Majumov back then. And then it's just going to finish with why the Errol Spence Jr. rematch never happened. And he's going to share some insights on why it fizzled out. Guys, be sure to like, subscribe to the channel. And if you hit that notification button, you'll be alerted every time I do another video. I appreciate you guys. Us going up and waiting, uh, looking for the best opportunity for myself or the next division. Uh, Israel had just came off of a spectacular win, and we actually wanted to fight for Dora for the first fight coming back, and he did. He turned it down, so we had to go to the next option, and why not go to the number one guy in the division? And that's Israel. He was trying to put other people on the card as well. Right. You know, uh, fights that didn't uh, pan out to, to make it to the card, but that just goes to show what he's trying to uh, do in the sport of boxing. It's, you know, bringing the best fight cards, not just the fights. He's trying to bring the best fight cards back to boxing like the old days where, you know, uh, HBO had so many talented uh, fighters uh, been fighting on the same car. You no, know, was happy that somebody took the time to uh, put some effort into promoting the fight. Is is dope. I said it before. You know, uh, something like that is is it's a nice to to see somebody took the time out to actually put a story together to promote a fight like myself. <laughs> yes, 15 hours. Uh, it was cool. I was tired, but at the same time, I know it was for a good cause. You know, it turned out wonderful, even though half of the stuff that we did yeah. there didn't get put on the scene. But, you know, that's that's part of, you know, making a, a, a commercial. No, we actually shot on the same day. Oh, was that weird? No, not at all. He's a good, he's a good, good, uh, good guy. You know, he's very respectful. He's, you know, quiet, you know, uh, we respect each other. I actually visited Uzbekistan before, you know, a few years ago. And um, they presented me with this sultan robe and treated me with the utmost respect. Because Uzbekistan is a, a big uh, fight country. They love, they love boxing, so they support uh, all the top fighters on they got an extensive amateur program over there. And I got to talk about Israel and was mentioned about him and things like that. And it's crazy because I never even thought that we ever yeah. uh, uh, be in a ring together. But like I said, things, things happen and, and, and come back and forth. So I really, I really can't say, you know, uh, I didn't hear anything from Team Spence or handlers after the fight so you know everything just kind of went cold turkey yeah i was a little frustrated at first but at the same time there's nothing i can do we was uh contracted to do a rematch and we had so so many months to get the rematch done and if we didn't get it done in a amount of uh time that the contract would be voided and so being that we wasn't able to get in touch with anybody or talk to anybody about the rematch. We just had to wait till the time came to where we can go and do our own thing. Initially, I was surprised, you know, but at the same time, 
I don't know what's going on over there on his side. So I really can't uh, speak too too much about the situation, you know, because I don't know. I don't know what led him or his team to uh, not want to fight or just, you know, say forget about it and go talk cold turkey and not communicate. But... Like I always say, everything happens for a reason, and for that reason being, it didn't happen. I'm here now, and I'm looking forward to next week.